back to the daily grind. The channel's getting false flagged by triggered trolls, so make sure you subscribe to the new channel. Let's get to the MMA news. Chuck Liddell's coming out, taking shots at Chell Son and Low Key. Wow. Hey, this is how he did it. Chuck Liddell came out and did it super smooth. The TMZ caught him at the airport, and they're like, hey, Chell Son has been talking about a fight between you guys. He seems pretty sure it's going down. Chuck's like, hey, I haven't heard anything about it, but that'd be an easy matchup. <laughs> he said, what? That'd be an easy matchup. You know how TMZ instigates. What? That'd be an easy matchup. You think you'd beat Chell? Oh, yeah, he wouldn't be able to lay on me all night. <laughs> Damn. Meanwhile, Chuck Liddell's trying to walk to the escalator. and, Hey, before you go off the stairs, uh, so do you think you'd be able to knock Chell out? Oh, yeah, it'd be a good matchup for me. <laughs> you know how TMZ gets people out the air. It's funny. It's, it was a TMZ art, uh, interview where they said that they caught Chuck Liddell at the airport, and they were asking him pretty much about everything Chell Sonnen was saying. And he was saying it'd be a good matchup for him, an easy matchup. Chell Sonnen wouldn't be able to lay on him all night, but he hasn't heard anything about the fight yet, which is interesting because you have to think. If Chuck Liddell goes to Bellator, there's going to be some interesting shit at play behind the scenes as far as he was he's one of Dana White's boys. They've got a good working relationship. Dana White hired Chuck Liddell and it was what Matt Hughes and Forrest Griffin or Chuck Liddell and just Forrest Griffin. Some of the old stars like Chuck Liddell and the other people I just mentioned, Dana White gave a job at like just, hey, come, you know, to the UFC offices, say hi every once in a while. I'm gonna give you a check. I don't know their exact job description, their exact job duties, but I do know that they got pretty nice checks for being pretty much UFC, excuse me, pretty much being UFC veterans, you know, stars. Dana, they were Dana White's boys. But after WMEIMG bought the UFC and they had to make all those budget cuts, they were they had to cut Chuck Liddell and all these other veterans who were just getting, you know, kind of frugal salaries for no reason. A lot of people say, I mean, I don't know exactly their job titles, but I've listened to a lot of MMA shows, the MMA Hour, all these MMA shows before I started doing my own channel. And I, I they used to talk about, it was kind of a joke about how Dana White hired them pretty much to be his boys and they get a check, you know, just out of love from Dana White. But once the company was sold... Dana White wasn't able to give that same love. WME wasn't going to, they got to pay people back. Therefore, they don't have money just to be giving people salaries, you know, for not performing at the highest level. They cut a lot of people that actually had job titles and job descriptions and job duties, daily duties, and they cut lots of people. So you got to, you know, you understand when they cut Chuck Liddell and these other guys, but at the same time, you have to wonder now that they cut him, if they go to Bellator, is Dana White fine with that? Because those are his boys. Dana White didn't want to fire him. Dana White didn't want these guys to not have, you know, salaries. He didn't want to take food off their table. But WME IMG came in and they got the, they did it. So, now that there's talks of Chuck Liddell possibly going to Bellator and all of this stuff, this Chelsea and Chuck Liddell matchup is very possible. So, how would Dana White feel if Chuck Liddell goes over and becomes one of the stars of Bellator? Helps Bellator step it up. They're literally going to have ridiculous matchups over there. You guys don't understand the matchups Bellator is going to have, the potential matchups. They've got Gegard Mousasi who can fight up to 205. So you can have Gegard versus Chell, Gegard versus Chuck Liddell. You can have Gegard build up his legacy, even though he'd beat all those guys probably pretty easily. And that's not, I'm not excited for that. I'm just saying, if you wanted to start turning him into like a world world famous star and all you got to do is have him do some trash talking and get some names on his resume, you know, that people, casual fans are more familiar with. For instance, Chuck Liddell, Chell Sonnen, he can go on his own little ass whipping tour over there on his way to winning multiple belts. So I'm not going to make this a Gegard Mousasi video, but think about Chuck Liddell versus like Fedor, Chuck Liddell versus Chell, Chuck Liddell versus Tito again. There's a lot of shit shows that can happen and a lot of fights that people are just going to tune into for nostalgia. The fucking member berries. So I'm excited about this fight. The way the way Chuck Liddell said, I mean, just the, the why I'm excited about this fight in particular. T Chell Sonnen got dropped in his last fight versus Vanderlei. He was on the, doing the stanky leg, but he came back and won the fight by being able to take Vanderlei down. Now, Chell, Chuck Liddell, if he hits, who knows? He might have more power than Vanderlei at this point. Who knows? If he's able to connect with Chell, if Chell's lights get shut out, who knows if Chell's able to wrestle Chuck Liddell. Chuck Liddell said he's not going to be able to lay on me all night. So they're building the fight. They're selling the fight. I'll watch it. 
I'm going to be watching Bellator when there's even when there's fights not like this on there. So when they do have these shows, these nostalgia shows and fights, I'm going to fuck around and watch it. I mean, unless there's something else going on, like if Bellator's having Chuck Liddell versus Chael Sonnen and UFC's having Khabib versus Tony Ferguson, I'm definitely going to watch Khabib versus Tony. But if the UFC's not having anything because they're building up something else, then I'm going to watch that shit. You know, that's what I'm saying. So it is what it is. I'm not going to make this video too long. Let the hitters know what the fuck you think about Chell Sonnen versus Chuck Liddell in the comments. <laughs> Dude. What's the difference between a good joke and a bad joke? Timing! <laughs>